live Pismo Beach 805 webcams beautiful the weekend was outstanding as well. I hope you had a chance to enjoy it. Fear not. This week does look pretty good, but a few changes happening. We'll talk about that again. Many more webcams can be found at 805webcams.com. We have links on ksby.com as well. Let's take a look at the temperatures right now. The deep interior is anywhere from the low 90s to the mid 90s currently. Beaches are in the 50s and low 60s. Then the coastal valley is a blend of 60s, 70s, and even low 80s with south coast temperatures in the 70s. Santa Inez Valley, we're coasting along in the mid 80s. Now, temperatures are a little warmer generally in the interior. At the coast, very little change over 24 hours ago. There's a breeze right now at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. We're very close to having to consider an advisory for the southwestern portion of Santa Barbara County due to some sundowner winds moving through the passes and canyons there. But beaches here, probably not a lot of low cloud cover. I think patches of it are something we're going to see here over the next couple of days, but increased wind flow will probably have something to do with the mixing out a little faster. Coastal valleys pretty warm tomorrow, mid 80s for the warmer ones, and then a backing off and a cooling as we get into Wednesday. The interior is heading toward 100 degrees, but we're not just going straight up. In fact, we're going to go up real quick and then down before the temperatures rebound in the extended forecast. If you want a sneak peek, bottom of your screen's place to look. Sacramento temperatures near 90, the Bay Area upper 60s and low 70s, and Monterey in the mid 60s. Los Angeles temperatures right around 90 degrees. A little cooling in Palm Springs from 112 on Tuesday to 109 on Wednesday in Las Vegas. Just enough to notice, maybe. And again, this is what I'm talking about with low clouds. This is our model. This particular model is usually the robust model in terms of predicting low cloud cover, and it doesn't do much with the marine layer through tomorrow morning. So again, patches. It definitely won't be a major factor like it was in some of the beach communities this morning. Okay, again, the Gaviota Pass winds are going to be a thing. Near advisory today, and then a more significantly strong wind event here as we start to rebuild high pressure. High pressure is going to go in and out here over the course of the forecast. So as it does so, changes in pressure will create wind. Hurricane Ernesto, back to Category 1. Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and the Canadian Maritimes are the immediate threat. What's interesting, though, about this, since it re-strengthened into a Category 1, is that it's going to go across the pond, and Ireland and Scotland are probably going to get drilled with quite a bit of rain here as we get toward the end of the week. That's something we'll be watching. So right now, we still have some southwesterly flow here. A little bit of ridging tomorrow. Then what's interesting about later on this week, this larger trough sweeps into the west, and temperatures take a nosedive. You can see this huge sweeping trough to close the week. Now what's interesting about this, this usually can cool us off a lot, but after this departs, another ridge of high pressure quickly builds in. So we're going to see those temperatures push way back up in the extended forecast as well. Let me show you what that looks like. So Paso Robles goes 100, 94, 84 Thursday with that trough moving through, 81 Friday, but then back to 95 to 100 degrees by Sunday and Monday. Same sort of roller coaster for places like San Luis Obispo, dropping all the way down into the lower 70s, close the week before a warmer weekend. The following weekend does look pretty good, but until then, enjoy the ride. We'll have an update for you at 5.